You want an iPhone 4? Have one. You want a brick called an iPhone no, 4? No, shut up. No, shut up. <laughs> hey guys, it's Freddy Jr. here, and we're gonna be doing a gameplay and commentary over some nice PP90 gameplay on the map of Resistance, maybe. Yeah, whatever. I don't know the name of it, but it's like a subway thing, and it's pretty cool. It's not too bad of a map. I liked it, and right here I go on a bit of a rampage. That's why I like this gameplay. I did pretty good at the start, you know. And towards the middle, I didn't do as well, and then right at the end, I started doing good again. But anyways, guys, you may be asking, whoa, what's wrong with your boys? And that is because I've been feeling a little sick lately, and and Modern Warfare 3 has caused me to uh, almost lose my voice, but hey, who cares? So, as you see, got my tackle copter. It's going to get shot down before it even reaches the map, because that's just what happens in this game, as you saw. Uh, that's pretty annoying. I think they should have made it like Black Ops, where uh, your helicopter has like a time limit before it can get shot down. If you tried to shoot a helicopter in Black Ops while it was going to the map, it would say uh, that you can't do it or something. And unfortunately, in this game, you could shoot an attack helicopter before it even gets to the map, which is pretty stupid. And the attack helicopters don't have any flares, so they go down in one shot, which is pretty annoying because, I mean, mm, oh, they're pretty easy to get. I mean,. I was going to say they're pretty hard to get, but no, they're not really, so... I guess it's alright, but I mean, they sh in my opinion, they still should have that time limit before you could shoot something down to prevent uh, what what has been happening lately to me, where you your air support doesn't get any kills, literally, because it doesn't get to the map. Uh, as far as... And, and it happens with other kills, too. Like, my payload does that. If two guys are shooting air support down, the payload will go down fast. The, um... Osprey Gunner will go down fast. I've been getting a few of those. So, not too fun, but... Yeah, right here, my AC-130 sucked, like always. And I pull out the FMG-9 Akimbo, which has turned into my uh, favorite secondary as of late. And look at this. Osprey Gunner. Yeah, the FMG-9 Akimbo are, are a very good secondary. If you're looking for uh, a secondary just to have... Uh, for close range battles, not one that you uh, would expect to finish a kill streak with, then these are pretty much the, the choice for you. I mean, they're they're comparable to the 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 Kimbo G18s in Modern Warfare 2. And if you didn't play that game, the Kimbo G18s were pretty awesome. They were extremely accurate. And right here, I don't think this Osprey Gunner does too much work. It also gets shot down fairly quick. So, but I think the Osprey Gunner has uh, one set of flares. So. Uh, it takes about two shots to take it down, which is not that good. I remember, it, I remember in Black Ops, like the uh, chopper gunner took took had one flare, and the uh, and the gunship had one flare, which made absolutely no sense because the gunship was a higher kill streak, and it did more. So the gunship probably should have had two flares, and the chopper gunner should have had one flare. But who cares? They didn't design the game too well. Uh, yeah. So right here, I come out of my uh, my. Osprey Gunner, and I'm trying to get to where the care packages are. As you see, I'm losing them, but I'm trying to get to where they are because for some reason my teammates couldn't get them. I don't know why, but right here, gun this guy down. My teammate just got a stealth bomber, which also helped, but uh, my efforts prove useless because I die. But anyways, here I am. I spawn here, and this was a very stupid move. Never do what I did right here. I just blindly run right up to my care package to try and take it. At least my teammate got it, but I just ran right up to it like an idiot. Okay. And obviously, some guy was camping it and uh, gunned me down. A few and and a few other people too. And then again, right there, I had a pretty bad uh, death. See, this is where I get my little streak of deaths. As you see, I got final stand on, and I'm just running to the middle of the map. I like the middle of the map in most of these maps. They're very uh, good areas to confirm. Uh, right off the top of my head, I can think of maps like Bootleg, where you could just control the middle of the map by uh, head glitching and shit, but. This is also one of those maps that if you sit near the middle of the map right here, you have a lot of cover in, in a lot of spots, and the only thing you have to worry about is that there's a lot of entrances, so you have to be careful, like, there's an entrance on this side, right behind me, and then the big stairway to my right, and there's a small stairway right where the windows are, so you definitely gotta be careful. So right here, I realized they were all gonna be pouring in from that little hole in the wall, so... I kind of got down and waited for them to pop out, and I popped out. So right there, I got my attack helicopter. I noticed I'm a little low on ammo, so I, 
I think I pick up the scar right here. Yep, there we go. Pick up the scar, get a nice double kill. Oh, nope, nope, no, I didn't. Here it is. Okay, there we go. Yeah, in this gameplay, I believe I'm using fall camo on my uh, PP90. I was a few kills away from the uh, gold camo, which I ended up getting when I was, like, level 80. But then I ended up prestiging, like, the game after. So, yeah, that didn't really uh, do anything. I didn't really get to use the gold camo anyways. This this prestige, I'll probably go for it. I'm hoping I can get the gold on my PP90 and probably the AK-47 as well. Because I did that unlock gear, prestige token, and unlock thing. And I bought the AK-47. Which... I kind of regret because I like the ACR a little better. The only reason I did that was because the AK is such a high unlock. And it would be really cool to get gold on it. I just wanted to know what it looked like. And right here I got my second DC-130 of the game. Oh, by the way, you guys, we're playing Kill Confirmed in this. I don't know if I told you guys that. Kill Confirmed is a fun game mode. Especially in Ground War when there's a lot of action. The only thing I don't like is that the score limit is pretty high in my opinion. I mean, you have to collect 90 dog tags to win in... Uh, in ground war which is a little much in my opinion it probably should be like something like 80 or, or 75 and then in regular kill confirmed it could probably be something like 50 or 55 yeah because i feel i feel like the games last a little too long right here wasn't the case i guess because uh we were killing a lot of people and our teammates were picking up the dog tracks but anyways guys that's it for this gameplay if you if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and comment below what you think uh goodbye